see a direct um, perhaps application in terms of the deployment of the use of you know writing programs are there certain sections or functions which you find may be more effective written in C and then be able to integrate that with Java is that one of the perhaps the tangible outcomes that your your team is looking at perhaps I'm more concerned with like you know after going through the study and the research you have a specific outcome you have obviously very valuable findings in terms of translating that into real you know how would that benefit um, the developer community is perhaps the question that I have uh, that's a fairly loaded question and uh, uh, <coughs> I I, those are important uh, issues to consider. We, uh, we haven't, we don't have much, I guess, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of hard for me to really answer this. Uh, it, yeah, I would, I would be glad to talk about it in more detail, but it doesn't seem like I can tell it simply. All right, so something that immediately strikes me every time we talk about vulnerabilities and consistency of tools is why in the world we don't have a consistent vulnerability definition. I think that should be the next big OS project is let's consistently define what vulnerabilities are, what their risk categories are, what ratings are, and try to figure out a way to quantify that because everybody talks about, you know, between tool manufacturers, right, we find more or we find more critical ones, but the definition is completely and utterly up to everybody else to interpret. The, the MITRE people are working on this. Uh, Steve can tell. Yeah. yeah, that was a great setup, uh, stranger who I did not pay 20 bucks to. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the, the question that you bring up has also been brought up by, uh, uh, by people at NIST as well as Department of Homeland Security, which funds the CWE effort. Uh, so one of the things that they're hot on, which means we're now hot on it, is um, just like for real-world systems with applications, uh, uh, software installed on them that have vulnerabilities where there's this CVSS. Uh, there's a notion of this common weakness uh, security uh, scoring. Uh, there are certain complexities that go beyond uh, just, uh, you know, you have this buffer overflow in this Microsoft software package. Uh, context being a really big part of that. So, it, it, you know, how can you assess the general severity of a particular issue across, you know, all different kinds of uh, threat models, for example, and uh, deployment scenarios uh, without taking into account certain kinds of context. So um, it's, a, it's a really good question. We understand that it's uh, something that a lot of people want. Uh, anyone has any ideas or any criticisms or anything like that, uh, I'm definitely uh, around and receptive to that. That is something that we are going to be working on. Uh, fairly heavily over the next six months to three years. <laughs> one, one, of the, one of the quick things that I wanted to mention is I think that, as, as you're saying, um, CVSS and a combination of the, of the CWE, I think, is pretty good. Both of those two things, if you use them together, can kind of meet those goals, right? Yeah. Sure. Any other questions? Yeah, we, we have a comment, one, one more. So just to add on to that last question, uh, I wanted to point out that, you know, I think CWE is great and they're doing some really good work there. The OWASP project to build the application security desk reference is also a useful project. It's going beyond just vulnerabilities or weaknesses and also uh, building uh, reference materials for threats and attacks and also, I mean, it also has vulnerabilities, but on the other side, it also has impacts, both technical and, and business impacts. So we're trying to provide that bigger context. When you uh, publish in December, is there, do you swap to this website or some way we can get plugged into when the results are published? 
It will be on our website, uh, Summit website. So this, from this site, you can you can find. That. Any other questions? Uh, how do you think how reliable are the results given that only like about 12% of the found vulnerabilities have been actually looked at? Uh, couldn't like if if all if all of them would have been taken into account, uh, don't you think that would have changed the overall results of your findings? There is a there is a, a, a big error in this uh, in our analysis. So our analysis may only be useful as a, as a way to describe the, the issues that we have. So it's, it's more of a, a learning exercise for others if they do such a study later. And we will, I mean, we will.